Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about how to use attachment input. Attachment input used to, to upload the files. So what uh, maybe will prompt uh, upload the image. You can select the image and you can upload it. This is a part one. Part two, how to upload multiple files or multiple images. That we will see in the part two. Part three, I want to save the file maybe in some location. Okay, once user upload the file, I want to save to the one of the location. How to implement that feature? So we'll see the three areas in this tutorial. Just moving to Visual Studio. I'm continuing to my old sample. Here I have created a function called attachment intent and I added the intent pattern the intent pattern has defined here. The constant variable defined here. The pattern defined in the create recognizer. So here I define it, the pattern. Okay, now. So here I am going to add my function call attachment input. Prompt I set as new static entry template text please upload the images image let it be image next we'll store this value in one of the property called user dot image and we'll send back to the user send activity Maybe just will print the value only. User dot image. Restart the application. Meantime, start the emulator and go to connect. Now I send the message attachment. So please upload the image. Now I am selecting one of the image. It's uploading. Yeah. So it's uploaded. There is a information about this image. A content type image, PNG image and URL where the file get uploaded. And the content URL not uploaded. So content null name of the image and thumbprint URL null. Okay, fine. This is the one image, it's uploading, it's displaying the data. So next time I'm going to upload multiple files. Two images selected. You see it's accepting only one image which upload the initial stage. So second image, it's not uh, you know, loaded. For that, go to the application. There is one property called output format. This output format, we have to set the format type. Attachment output format dot. Here, if you set all, then you can upload the multiple images or multiple files. If you set for first, so only one file get uploaded. So I set all. Now restart the application. Meantime, go to the emulator, restart the conversation. Voice in message attachment. Please upload the image. Now I am uploading some three images. So first image, second, third. So we get the complete uh, images list. So image one, image two information, image three information. So it's working fine. Next, we'll see to store these files in server side, maybe some location, we'll save it. How to implement this one? Go to the application, sorry, go to the Visual Studio. Here, uh, look like there is no option available. So value fail, always prompt, 
disable invalid okay so instead of that i am going to write my own class to store the value sorry to save the files or images how to write it so first thing is you noticed list of um, this action support only the dialog so our class should derive from the dialog class that's one thing the next we are we have we need this value property so the user dot image if you uh, if this value passed to our uh, uh, class we come to, we come to know this complete information so the url is available for us we can download it save it to the particular location the next i have to call this uh, my new class from here so here i have to call it okay i'm going to add the new class maybe this class called as like um, save image or maybe yeah save files first this class should derive from the dialog just adding the missing members added next as i said i need this value this value i need to my class okay so for that i'm going to create a, one property called string expression maybe uh, files info the class name i'm going to here i'm create my class new save file files info i'm just assigning image will changes images because we are going to save multiple files yeah images done next we are going to write our the uh, write our main logic okay going to read the value from this string expression okay so how to read the value from the string expression for that we have to use try get value or get value method to get the value from this uh, string expression uh, my I just get the uh, define input my class name sorry my variable name in this one files info if not null get value this get value we have to pass the data so data set data is available in the dc dot state this is a dialog state manager this dialog state manager store the you know store the values what our value is storing in this uh, files info no so it's available in the dc state only so if you pass this one this it will return the string next we are going to check the string should not be null string is not null input this is a json string so this complete set we will get in the input field sorry input variable next we have to convert this json format to the class type or we can directly read from the json i am not going to directly read from the json i just convert to this json to my class object for that you can go to the website this website one of the free website quick type info if you pass the json it will convert the class file class data so this is my uh, uh, no um, json format whatever you see here this emulator content type content url content name compliant url the same i just copy paste it i select the type source type is json it's converted to class type so i just copy this one class go to my application add this class okay so using this class i am get the you know json to my class object that i am going to use var image list json convert dot deserialize deserialize object my list of save image 
was a data input. That's it. So automatically list of save image available in this my image list. Next for each image list save image. So next we'll download the file from the URL. This URL. Okay, if you pass this URL and the file name, we I am going to use the your file name. You can define your own. I'm I'm just going to use the same file name which which is provided by the user, and we have to use this URL. Once we pass this URL, we download the file. For that, we have to use the web client class. Web client. You of web client. Next web client dot download file async url web client dot can oh sorry not web client it's called save image dot content url next to file name also i'm providing from the save image file only that's it so here you see begin uh, dialog async return the dialog result we have to return it so once downloaded, that that's it. No need to process anything. So I'm just using the end dialog, end the conversation. So wait. I have to use async method here. Wait. This is dot end dialog. Nothing return and cancellation token. I have to pass. That's it. That's it, guys. So one once this is executed. It will trigger the save file dialog. We set the value here. So automatically, this begin dialog async function get called. Here we are we are getting the value from this memory state, and we are converting to our class object just of save save images. So we are downloading one by one. If you want, to, you can check uh, this condition also. In case suppose if it is get failed, image list not equal to null and count greater than zero. Then execute this one. Okay. We can inform to the user also once the download, you know, we successfully download the files, we can inform to the user. For that, we can use wait dc.context.send activity. Here you can use message factory dot text files uploaded successfully Success, sorry. successfully. Cancellation token. Yeah, that's it. So here we are uh, sending the constant, no constant value. If you anything happen or maybe uh, some crash happen, we are providing the false information. To avoid that one, uh, maybe you can add the try catch. So just move this code. Catch block. I define one variable called status where status equal to string dot empty right now. The status here I will define if any exception coming as I need this is message e dot message and if it is success maybe here. Successfully, just define it. Or if it's uh, if this case is get failed, maybe we can add status failed something. I'm not going to make a no, more code cleanable. Here, idea is just as how to set the value and uh, we inform to the user. So instead of successfully, we make it like this. Status. That's it. Okay, this is completed here. Okay. 
this in the middle. Yeah, up here. Just can Okay. Now build the solution. I put the breakpoint here. Start the application. Go to the emulator. Start. Attachment. So I'm uploading three files. Open. It's received. Here you see we get the complete information in this value field. This is string. Now we are we are checking and we are converting to the our JSON format. Sorry, our class object. So it's written the three image list. So each get value get filled here and just going here saving one by one we'll see the value where the where this value gets stored so three images saved successfully sent so we up now we send the in, uh, user in, uh, information to the user files upload successfully so where this get file the uh, files are get saved i did not pass any function uh, you know any folder part something so the default gets stored in into our program folder only here you can see the three images one two three okay guys that's it uh, this is a way we can you can use the attachment input and uh, save the files and uh, one more point i uh, not mentioned so if you see the attachment in output format i mentioned is all that's the reason i am using here the list of images so list of my class of uh, class name i'm passing here i'm converting to the list in case if you are using first so the save files it won't work because it's like a single data it's not a array of data so it won't work it will throw an exception so you have to check the condition if it is output format this one i have to use the list otherwise i have to use the normal normal way to deserialize the object that's it guys thanks to all